Like the Army, the Engineer Regiment is older than the nation it serves. Founded in 1775, it provides officers to both Army formations and the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. In the Army's operating force, engineer officers lead soldiers who provide mobility. Counter mobility. Survivability. General engineering. And graphic engineering support. Maneuver commanders. These officers are builders and fighters both. Meanwhile, the Corps of Engineers has a federal support role, providing public engineering services. It maintains more than 600 dams, 926 harbors, 12,000 miles of inland waterways, and countless other components of the nation's infrastructure. Army engineer officers have a global footprint, providing similar services to other nations, from Southwest Asia to the Americas and the Pacific. From lieutenant to general, an engineer officer's career alternates between combat operations abroad and supporting the American public at home. Junior engineer officers can expect to spend more time in the Army's operating force, honing their leadership and engineering talents. This is an invaluable training and educational experience that helps them to understand the larger Army that they serve. As they approach mid-career, Engineer officers are afforded opportunities to pursue graduate education and develop expertise, suiting them for leadership in either operating force or Corps of Engineers units. Army engineer officers possess a special blend of skills, knowledge, and behaviors. Their unique talents help them to succeed in any mission. Many engineer officers possess degrees in science, technology, engineering, or math. In order to be a good engineer officer, I don't think you necessarily have to have a civil or mechanical degree, but there's a lot to be said for having a good background in the scientific method. Engineer branch demands expertise in other areas as well. I have good friends that are political scientists or psychologists or environmental engineers and are great engineer officers. Project management. Engineer officers routinely develop tasks and work processes, identify and delegate responsibilities, and lead their teams to desired outcomes. One day you might be leading a platoon of sappers as they're doing a route clearance patrol, and then a year, maybe six months later, you could be being a project manager on a USACE construction site. Problem solvers. Engineer officers are innovative and creative. They routinely devise solutions to complex challenges that go beyond the rote or rules-based. Data and scientific method are central to engineer problem solving. Uh, so there's something that the, the maneuver commander can't figure out. He really wants that engineer. He's going to give that problem to the engineer and expect him to think outside the box and figure out how to solve that problem. Inspirational leaders. Engineer officers are approachable assimilate diverse perspectives and inspire those they lead to work towards common goals. Multifaceted, multi-tooled, and not necessarily constrained to their jobs as engineers. You know, critical thinkers, exceptional leaders, strong, confident. Spatially intelligent. Adept at three-dimensional thinking, engineer officers rapidly assimilate information from all quarters. Whether in construction or on the battlefield, they excel in the crowded hour. It's critically important to be able to think uh, spatially and in three dimensions as an engineer uh, because you have to see the battlefield not only from the uh, mission objectives, but to be able to look at the terrain and communicate uh, the what ifs. I graduated from West Point. The University of Wisconsin-Madison. Morgan State University. Air Force Academy. I got commissioned out of Officer Candidate School. My major was in physics. I majored in operations research and systems analysis. I went to uh, get a master's in chemical engineering at uh, MIT in 1995, and then went and got a, a PhD. 
uh, in chemical engineering at MIT. Geological engineering. History and political science. Environmental geography. I was an environmental science major. I do think for engineers, um, in addition again to fundamental leadership and some, a technical skill set, they need to think systematically. An Army engineer officer must be able to take data from all sources. There are no other branches that really parallel or duplicate the skills required of an engineer officer, and therefore you'll find that your skills are in relatively short supply and uh, desperately needed. The difference about being an engineer is you have to be able to switch hats very rapidly um, from day to day and from job to job. You'll find an engineer officer doing outing as a combat engineer, as a sapper, as a construction uh, officer, as a as a GIS officer. I ended up being stationed with a battalion that literally did everything. We had construction and combat engineers, we had topographic engineers, we had combat divers. One of the things that's very unique about engineers is as you wear the castle, no matter what branches are around you, they're going to look at that castle and they'll say, this is the guy, if we don't know what to do about something, we're going to take it to them. I, I can't imagine another field um, pairing uh, engineering with an Army career that would have given me more satisfaction and more opportunity. The engineer branch is, uh, is a fantastic job of assisting almost every other branch in the Army. Uh, and that is something that I take a lot of pride and satisfaction in. It feels good to be the guy who, to, who really supports the execution of the mission by solving a problem that no one else, no one else could. It's an honor to have that responsibility placed on you and it's also an honor to know that the, the trust is there. It is a lot of responsibility to be an engineer, young engineer officer that has to wear these multiple hats of leading and advising in the same you know, kind of capacity. And, and it's certainly not for the faint of heart. You know, you've got to be willing to do this. You've got to be willing to take on that responsibility. But it's richly rewarding to do that job. If you want to build a nation. If you want to have a different experience every year. If you like seeing things get put together um, by virtue of your effort. If you want to go out there and make a better world for somebody. If you want to be among the best, the elite, to do everything. Put on a castle. Then come be an engineer.